All right, time for the special edition, super quick unboxing. I don't know how quick it's gonna be, but um, I just got the game in, and everyone's unboxing it. So why shouldn't shouldn't I start doing mine? Well, not start, but I mean, you know. <coughs> Pardon me. Let's start with this one. I missed the uh, edition of Kickstarter. Had I known, I probably would have been back for the complete game. But a couple weeks ago, haven't had time to uh, put it together yet. A couple weeks ago, I got ta da! Lightning and Bolt, the asymmetrical co op deck builder that you can enjoy with that special someone who you want to suck into board gaming, uh, or that young one that you want to introduce to the wonderful world of board gaming. Uh, my friend printed out some color copies on some plain white paper. Um, I have foam core, as you can see. I've been making an insert. I, well, I could have put tiles on it, but he, he made double-sided prints. Um, he is... Um, he is uh, focused on me making good use of my... This is a bonus character. Uh, make use of my uh, laminator, and I think that's a good idea because I don't want to have to do. I mean, I think we can make them stiff cards, you know, just by wrapping them in plastic and uh, or sandwiching each page in plastic. And um, yeah, then I won't have to use magic cards and sleeves. Um, and give it a nice premium feel. And I have a big, big pack of. Sleeves, anyways. So that's just a warm up. I'll be bringing in box by box. I've already pre opened the other game. <clears throat> and, uh, meaning I had it delivered to my buddy's house and, um, we opened it so he could see what's in it too. Um, but I did not unpackage everything in great detail. I just opened up the box tops and pulled out the components. Uh, well, I'm going to pull them out from the box as they come out of the box. The core, the core set is at the bottom of the box, so you guys will see that last. I'm going to start with bonus mini. We can get to that one later. We'll start with Rise of Moloch, the Arcanist Extras. Comes with a nice large dice bag, which I actually really appreciate. I don't, I don't know if I'll ever use it for the game though. It'll make a nice uh, chaos bag for Arkham Horror. So the little tiny ones. Campaign book. Pretty thick. It's got nice artwork. Pages are nice, nicely spaced out. The the wording. A lot of good stuff in here. A lot of great artwork. Now I backed everything that was exclusive, and I never. Well, I don't get the art books. I mean, it's great and all, but um, I don't. I'm not a collector like that, um, and. I try not to get add-ons, but darn it, Simon, you did, uh, you jumped on the exclusive expansion bandwagon, and it sucked me in, but it'll also probably, most likely be the last Simon DMI back, if you're gonna keep, you're gonna keep doing that. Um, got some extra tiles, double-sided. Uh, who knows when these will warp? They all do seem to warp nowadays. Um, dashboards, at least you guys call these dashboards, I don't know if you can still keep using those words, or that word, for the player mats, because after you have the, the Mass of Darkness and the, and the Black Plague dashboards, um, when you say dashboards, I expect a, a plastic tray, not more cardboard. So here are the, um, whatchamacallit, Willows or Minions, um, and 
agents. Sorry, I forgot the terminology here. I did read the rule book. I usually don't do that. I usually just wait for the game to come in. But I was really curious, and I, I, I have the gist of it. I've read the rule book just a couple times. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I'll, I will have to refresh my mind, but I am familiar with it, how the game works. Um, Emma Swanson. Uh, was it in the upgrade cards? <coughs> Got some cool minis. This is one of my favorite ones. Is this guy coming out of the portal? Oops. Now my friend just got Rising Sun, and so I'm a little still a little envious of the size and detail of those minis. But at the same time, these are nice, real nice. You know, really creative, really different kind of looking uh, minis that they have here. Steampunk-ish fantasy. And a bunch of weird, weird stuff. So, I don't know if you can see the detail there. Probably not. Let's get focusing on my hand. There we go. Well, there actually isn't a whole lot of detail to this one. So, anyway, you got that one. Um... I do not have the first game, so oh, and now so there's one expansion. Well, I was, you know, I was unemployed last last summer, so um, living off the of savings, and I really just, in good conscience, I couldn't back everything, but I backed all that I could. I did not back the wheel expansion. I really wish I did, but you know what? Three out of four ain't bad. Are the expansions, and there's plenty of stuff here. These really good minis, nice quality. Yeah, I don't think I'm a huge fan of the yellow. A lot of people were commenting on that in the in the discussion. But you know what? Paint it if you don't like it. <laughs> um, minis are are plenty big. You know, they're not as big as some of the Rising Sun ones or Blood Rage, or even especially like the Mass of Darkness and. Um, and the zombie side stuff, but these are really, really nice looking. And look, they're really, they really have a great amount of detail for this kind of mini. Um, I don't think I will be painting them, but if I do, I uh, well, I look forward to seeing how people paint stuff like this because um, I do not have very steady hands, which is why I usually do not paint my stuff. Let's see. Let's see. All right. That looks like the way. Who knows? Oh. All right. Here's that one. The extras. So I usually, I normally back, like with the Zombicide stuff, I normally back the base game, the expansion, and, you know, and of course you get all the, the, uh, exclusive, uh, minis, right? And so, this time I had to buy a bunch of add-ons because, Simon, uh, I mean this one's not as much of a grab bag as, like, you know, Green Horde or... Um, Rising Sun, right? Well, actually, I don't know what, what kind of grab bag Rising Sun was, but I know Green Horde had to have had tons of stuff because that's just how they do Zombicide. But I needed a change, and my other stuff wasn't really getting played. So here is the Mr. Honk alternative. I thought I had more alternatives than this. I'll have to fish through everything. Um, but this is not bad. Maybe I didn't get them all. I thought I... These are like the uh, original characters, right? So... I think it was a bonus alternative art. I thought there were other ones. I thought they were like from the first game. Her Majesty's Secret Service. And I got these things. And everyone's been saying we're only supposed to get four of something. Four coins or something like that. I don't know if these are them. But uh, I got a bunch of them. Like, the 20 that, well, I think it's, yeah, I think people were saying we're supposed to get 20 or something. But there's only four. 
I'll have to see when I open up, we open up the main box, but I mean, I got a whole baggie full of these things, so. They're plastic, I'll probably, if they're any form of currency or whatever, I'll probably just use my scythe coins to uh, substitute because they're metal. So like I said, I didn't get the wheel expansion, but I got the embassy. And each of these expansions have like a lot of content, I'd say. I mean, the books are chock full of stuff. I know it's large print, semi-large, and a lot of pictures, but there still is quite a bit in here. Expansion, or uh, scenarios, campaigns. Uh, Lord Baron, and look at all those tiles, like for a full game. Double-sided, of course. Got a couple of hallway tiles. <coughs> Infected Bobby is this really reminiscent of opening up the others. Now I didn't, I don't own the others. My friend does. But I did open up, or I, I didn't open it up. I did some gameplay videos. You may have seen them, and I'm missing. Like one or two of them because, um, you know, those of you who know, my I was recording it with my uh, Note 5 and it died on me. And with it went the videos I took with it. And I didn't really feel like playing it again all by myself. So, there you have it. And you got two bases. Two black bases. I don't know if you really need these, but maybe. <clears throat> on gameplay, but. Um... Box knife. Ah. Oh. This thing. Oh, that guy just jumped out. Where do you go? Ah, uh, under the couch or something, I'll have to look for him. But, one guy got away. I don't know what he was, it must have been some unique thing. Here's an infected Bobby. Those are really cool looking. Maybe if I do this. Maybe not. Um, then there's this thing, whatever it is. Street Sweeper. Then you got these bigger minis. And this guy right here. This guy walks in his hands. And then this uh, lady here. It's a creepy lady. She's gotta be creepy. I don't know if she doesn't really look that creepy, but she's one of the monsters, so must be creepy. Alright, so one flew out. Ooh, it was an infected well actually no, it wasn't an infected Bobby. I just put that Bobby in the wrong spot. Alright. Is that Put this thing away from something. Alright, I'm gonna throw it in the extras to see if that's where it came from. <clears throat> Oops, I'm forgetting all sorts of stuff. 
we have to put those bases back into the expansion. All right. Man, that's gonna bug me. What the heck flew out of the box? Oh, um, let's see. Halfway through my time here. The dragon. Actually, I really like the minis in this one. Not because I'm Asian or anything, but it's just cool looking. There's the Mr. Honk or Honk. Well, I always call him Mr. Honker. <laughs> Mr. Honk, um, map tiles, the mar I think one of them is a market, let me flip it over, no, no, just more map tiles, you got Dr. Lee Fong, my girlfriend's gonna love that, she's Asian, I always joke that I'm Islander, because I'm Filipino, which I am, it's not really a joke, but, you know, so many people claim an Asian. Technically, technically not Asian. But my girlfriend is. So since I'm always poking fun, she's gonna love the Asian-y theme. Um, yeah. So these aren't as cool as the big giant dragons and Rising Sun, but I mean, check it out. You got these, these uh, creepy ladies with fans, and then you got Mr. Honk, angry Mr. Honk. The other one, I think he's angry. In the other one too, but this one looks furious. His hat's flying off. Um, get this guy. He looks like the uh, the guy from uh, from Jumanji, the original one, or any other British dude with handlebars and the full mustache or full beard. And I love this one, you know. Dragon, cast a dragon swirling around you. It's really good, really nice, fine craftsmanship. Smoke Dragon, alright. <coughs> Lots of stuff in here. If it's not chock full of minis, it's got, um, it's got so many cards. Look at that. I'm, I'm gonna have to restock on mini cards. Alright. Next one. Alright. The Mech Asylum. Got Archibald. Hargrave. Which looks like that guy in the other expansion. Without a hat. You got the the evil toys. Oh yeah, look at that. The uh, sample, or this one, probably one of the maps. Oh, villains. Lots of good stuff. Evil toys. That guy doesn't look like a toy to me, but he is. He just looks like a little goblin with box underwear. Um, enhancements and stuff. Ooh, equipment, flamethrower, nice. And you got these guys. I really kind of want to paint these. I don't know why. Oh, there goes another one. Dang. Those guys are like, it's like they're live. 
Where did he go? What the heck? They just, it's like they disappeared out of nowhere. What? Uh, Alright, I'm gonna look for this one. I bet he's where the body is. Man. Maybe I have to drop one, drop another one to find it. Oh. Alright. Pretty slick. <sighs> All right, that's one of these guys, the guys in the car, the the uh, evil toy. Just jumped out of there. There we go. It's not a tremendous amount of detail. Anyway, you probably just can't see it because uh, it's yellow. But I mean, there it, there is some, there is some. But hard to see because of the yellow molding. The girl and her bunny. He's an Archibald guy. And the old lady. Focus is not working. Here we go. Hmm. I don't know where my thing is for autofocus. Oh, right there. There. There it goes. Still not super awesome, but get the idea. <laughs> I'm doing time. Ten minutes left. So I'm going to the um. Well, I'm going to do the course at last. So. <laughs> I mean, it's just at the bottom, so... We'll do these three. The add-ons. Baker Street set. We got Sherlock Holmes and, uh, crew. Four minis, four hero dashboards, two villain dashboards, six activation cards, and a campaign book. Four minis. That's it. Let's have alternate dashboards. Okay. Four minis. Wow, bazooka! Check it out. You know what? I'm not gonna pop this out. Actually, yes, I am. I'm so tempted. Nah, that way you know she jumped out. This cool guy. Look at that. Weird investigator, dude. That's this guy right here. Dr. Watson. Oh, it's Watson. Alright, sorry about the darkness. Then. It's mostly straight. This is. This is a rifle. It's supposed to be straight, but you know what? Who cares? You got some dude stuffed in there in the crate. And this badass bazooka chick. 
Boom. Character cards, the dilettante, Lord Holmes. All right, we got a little campaign, cam uh, campaign, little campaign book for uh, Baker Street. Here's Irene Adler. Nice. Kudos to the people who pack these, but I have no idea how you could do it at all. So all those stuff fits so tightly. Alright. Then we have Ohm Gentleman set. <coughs> Share dashboards and six activation cards. Yeah, uh, come on. All right, I gotta pause. All right, got the wrapper off. I hate to bend all these boxes, but you know what? Once I get these minis out, I probably won't go back to them. Yeah, the cards won't fit once I sleep them up. Alright. Dashboard. Minis. I really want to pull them out. Let's see. Cool looking. Like Cirque du Soleil in here. She holding. I have no idea what she's holding. Flamethrower, probably. Uh, this lady's got a huge gun. Like a Gatling gun, a mini one, a mini, a mini gun. A guy with a sword and bagpipes. And this guy is the fox dude. One more pause. Alright, and finally, the Twilight Knight. You know, I think part of why I uh, backed this one, or I picked this one up, I mean, it's 15 bucks for, for the one. And the art, I mean, the, the miniature is nice, but come on now. But I just got done playing a campaign with my buddies. And uh, I was like, I gotta get everything KDM that I can afford. And this is pretty much all I could afford. Um, yeah. And it's, a, it's one more mini. And it's a nice one. Pretty nice. Not a lot of detail on that one for what it is. It's the, certainly one, one of the thicker ones. Like thicker based ones. Right? Like those, well like the other box actually. Those women in the big poofy dresses. But, uh, yeah. Not bad. Not bad at all. 
Super exclusive. Activation card. And dashboard. I might laminate these, I don't know. Probably. And then, what should we call it? That should do it for this one. I'll do a separate video for the base set. Um, but yeah, so far, so far it looks great. It looks great. Um, gameplay rules are pretty straightforward, I think. After playing the numerous Zombicide and, and even playing the others and other Simon games. I mean, it's, it's really, it's, Usually, fairly easy way. So, there you have it. Super quick ish unboxing of Rise of Moloch. Um, all the extras and expansions. And then we'll go, we'll get to that core set soon. But tonight, I have to finish making my, uh, my insert. And then, um, I'll probably do a video on that too, which I think would be pretty cool. Till next time, catch you guys later.